Hey guys, um, I'm going to teach you how to make a GIF on Photoshop CS5 with pictures. Um, this, the one I'm going to make is for Dear Bunny Art and it's like this one. If the thing's blurry, if it's not showing, it goes faster. I'll show you. It's pretty going faster, but my computer's help. Anyways, um, so yeah. Um, you're going to open up Photoshop CS5. You're going to need about two to three or more pictures. I would suggest having three or more pictures. Um, I'm going to open all my pictures, so wait. <laughs> okay, so I have these five Selena pictures. And they're all in a small size, is so what's so tiny. And um, this over here, don't worry about this. This is a video GIF that I downloaded from I'm Not Like The Rest from the event art. So pretend that's not there. That's not part of it. Okay, so you're going to go to Window and you're going to go to Animation. And what you're going to do is you're going to add a layer. You have the crown picture right there. You're going to add a layer and you're going to pass over one of your pictures and drag it over there. Oof, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Um, and it's going to be like this, and then if you want you can exit out, if you want you can edit the side in case something happens to it. So yeah, um, I'm just going to leave it to the side, and I'm going to add a layer, Ooh. sorry, I'm going to delete a layer, because I thought it was in there, okay, you're going to click go back to the first layer, like if there's pictures that are hanging over like this, you're just going to drag it out of the way, ugh, this is annoying, <laughs> you're just going to drag it out of Away, and then if it goes back again, move it. Um, I'm gonna put it to over here for forever, and I'm gonna leave this at zero seconds. Seconds, um, and you're gonna do it again. Pass over another picture. Oops. Pass over another picture, and I'm gonna move that, and you're gonna add a layer. <laughs> And you're gonna pass it over like in front. Move this out of the way and move this out of this way. This is annoying when this happens. Okay, like that. And move it back into place. And then if you didn't do it, yeah. And then I'm gonna add my second to last picture. Same thing, you're going to drag it over. And you're going to add a layer. But because I forgot to do this, um, you should add a layer before you pass over the picture. It just saves you, it just saves you time and it's less stupid that way. <laughs> and sometimes it fixes on its own. Like when the layer is added in the front, in the back, or something, it when layers, if you add the layer over here, it's gonna be all of it is gonna get messed up. Like the picture is gonna move in front. If you add the pic, if you add it like over here by the one, and then it's right there. Only like that will get messed up. Like it will all look messed up, and then we, once you move it, everything will be good. It's hard to understand, but I figured this out on my own. <laughs> experience. This usually never happens to me, but it's happening to me today. I don't know why that comes up. And uh, I don't know what's not minimizing, so I'll exit. Oop. I'll just exit out. Um, can move it like that. And then you see everything else goes out and maybe that picture will come out but you're going to put it back in and this will be a gif it, you can add more pictures if you want but if it's for the running art i would suggest not adding so many pictures um so basically that is a gif um it's really i want to say easy to make it's hard in the beginning um if you haven't learned it this took me i actually figured this out today <laughs> um and oops sorry you not you can say it right away. If this is for Giovanni art or if it's something else and it has to be in a size for it 
for the GIF to be a profile picture on Diagonic Art, it has to be 500, I mean 50 by 50. And if it's going to be like regular posting, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to save it for like regular posting and I'm going to save it for a profile too. And um, these icons, um, I got them from actually a pack. Um, and to change the size on it, you're going to go to image and you're going to go to image size and then this sort of thing comes up and it's an, an image. Um, if you have any questions on how to make a GIF, I know this is very, it might be confusing, like it was really confusing to me. See, now it's a tiny. Um, but it was confusing to me at first and I kind of figured it out, so it's good. And if you want to add some text, you can add text. So yeah, if you have any questions, inbox me or comment them below. I usually, almost always, um, respond to my comments, so if you comment, I'll get back to you. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. If it didn't, again, comment. Maybe I'll make another video or make you a specific video for you. <laughs> thank you. Let's love You can let it has a GIF in it, so this does have a GIF in it, so don't be scared. Um, this does have a GIF in it, so don't be scared. <laughs>